Upcoming lessons are going to rely heavily on you having mastered pointers. Before we begin these advanced lessons, I think it is important that we spend some time reviewing pointers and especially covering some of the finer details that we haven't yet had a chance to cover. So let's begin. First of all, remember that a pointer is a variable that holds a memory address. More specifically, a pointer is something that can only hold a memory address. If a pointer has any value at all, that value is a memory address. This is a concept that confuses a lot of beginners, especially when you see something that looks like this. If I write a line of code like this, it appears that what we're doing is we are creating a pointer called string and then we are assigning it the value hello and that is not correct. Remember, a pointer can only contain a memory address. What we are doing here is we're actually creating the string of text hello, putting it in memory. Now this string of text has a memory address and then we are assigning that memory address to the pointer we've named string. Now let's review. How do you create a pointer? You create a pointer by specifying the data type that the pointer will point to, like say we want a pointer that's going to point to integers, then you put an asterisk and then you give it a name. And that's it. That creates a pointer. It doesn't matter where the asterisk is. This is valid as is this, as well as this. Whenever you create a pointer you have the option of assigning it a value or not you could write just this line of code and then later on in your program assign it a value by doing something like this. Let's create an integer and then we can go ahead and set a name is equal to the address of that integer and what we're doing there is we are storing the memory address of my int into the pointer a name. So remember a name is a pointer we know it's a pointer because when it was created there was an asterisk. That's how we know it's a pointer. We also know that it contains a memory address. The specific memory address it contains is the memory address where my int is located in memory. The second concept that is confusing for a lot of beginners is why do you need to specify a data type when you create a pointer? There are two reasons why you need to give a pointer a data type. First of all, it specifies the size of the data. And the reason this is important is because not all data types have the same size. An integer might, for example, be four bytes in size. A character might be one byte in size. So if you have a situation where you give a memory address of an integer, but you don't specify that it's four bytes in size, then any time you try to use what is at that memory address, you will use it incorrectly because you will need to use all four bytes in order for it to be a true integer. So by specifying the data type you are specifying the size of the data at that memory address that needs to be examined. In the case of, a, of an integer you are specifying here for example we're saying that a name is a pointer it's going to contain a memory address and what is at that memory address is going to be four bytes which should be thought of as an integer. Here what you are doing is you are creating a pointer called string and you are storing a memory address inside of that pointer where that memory address is going to correspond to only a single character, in this case the H of hello. So whenever you create a pointer you give it a data type first of all in order to specify the size of the data. Remember later on in the program we might do something like this and we might use the dereferencing operation where we're saying print the integer that is at that memory address. Well, if that is going to be four bytes in size, the only way we can get the right value is if we've created the pointer in such a way that it is known to be four bytes in size, which is by giving it the data type int for integer. Now keep in mind the number of bytes a given data type is can be different between compilers. So for example an integer might be four bytes in size, 
It might be eight bytes in size. It could be it could be whatever the compiler decides it is. Typically, though, in modern architectures, you'll find that an integer is four bytes in size. And later in the in the course, I'll show you how to make sure that that you get the correct size of each data type that you're working with. Okay, so we just covered the first point, which is that it specifies the size of the data. The second point is it is useful for interpreting the data. And that is very closely related to what I just said, meaning that when you create a pointer with a data type like integer, then C knows later in the program that any time you dereference that memory address using that pointer, that you want that data treated as an integer, as opposed to some other data type. So those are the two reasons why whenever you create a pointer, you always specify a data type. All right, so that's all for this video. In the next video, we will continue our review of pointers.